David. Uh, David, I want you to pack your things. We're leaving. We're going home? No, no. But I thought instead of you having to write Aunt Edith, we could go for a visit. What about Pa? Uh, well, he won't be able to come with us. He has to do something. You said he was going to shoot somebody. Uncle Jared. Oh, no. No, he's not going to shoot anyone. Now you get your things together. If Pa's going to stay, I want to stay too, Ma. Oh, Davy. Look, it, sometimes things happen between a man and a woman. It's nothing to do with you, so don't blame yourself. But, um, your father doesn't want us to be with him anymore. But why? Because it's so hard to explain. Tell me. I will. I will when I come back, okay? Give me a big hug. I have to go and do something very important. You promise me you'll be all right, huh? I'll be all right. That's my boy. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, let's get him out of here. Swing, come on, come on. We've got work to do. Get my own. Get out! Put that horse on. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Nick. Um. Nick, are you hurt? No. How'd I get here? Somebody just delivered you in a wagon. Adam Howard. Looks like that talk didn't work out, huh? We didn't talk. Anyway, it's all right with me. I'm through talking anyway. I get them cattle to water. You think you're gonna get them through that fence? That's what I think. Just like that? Just like that. Now, the cattle and the men are all ready to go. You going with us or not? Nick, that's big trouble. Then stay here. I'll get saddled. Come on. to you. Your friend Howard's what happened to me. I told you to stay away from him. I know what you told me, but I've got a whole herd of thirsting cattle out there. And for your information, I'm taking them out to the Brady's Creek. Then I trust you've made arrangements at the local funeral parlor. No more talk. We tried it your way, Jared. We tried it. It did not work. Now you listen to me, Nick. What you're planning to do is wrong, dead wrong. And if you think I'm going to let that hard head of yours get you killed, you got another thing coming. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Jared. Will you wait a minute? I'm, uh, sorry, big brother. I'll get Silas to look after him. I'll meet you up on the North Ridge. All right. Here you are, Mr. Jerry. Just lay still for a while. Nick and Heath are gone, huh? To that fence. There's going to be trouble. Kill him. Don't you worry, Silas. There won't be if I can help it. Oh, Jared. Oh, thank God you're all right. What is it, Marcy? Jared, I, I told them. I, I told them everything. 
And he didn't believe one word of it, Jared, not one word. And he took his rifle when he left. He didn't believe you, huh? Well, Marcy, looks like we've passed the time for truth and understanding. Well, now it's a time for guns, is that it? You show me a way to stop it. Jared, wait a minute! Jared! The old man said, here they come. Hold it, mister. Nobody gets through. Like I said, somebody's going to get killed. Nick, all right. You're here to stop us, Jared. You're on the wrong side of the fence. I'm not here to stop you, Nick. I'm going with you. you don't understand. That's what Mother said. Things I can't understand. Well, maybe I can't. But I sure as heck can't understand you not wanting to be my father anymore. Oh, it has nothing to do with you, Davy. Your mother. It happened a long time ago. I don't know what happened a long time ago, and I don't care. All I know is that I'm your son and you're my father. Ain't that so? Yes. That's so, Davy. But there's more to it. There's no more to it. If you're my father, you just can't up and stop being it. You just can't do that. You just can't. Bolton! Polly! The rest of you, tear this fence down, fast! Is that clear?
You bring this buckboard out here all by yourself? I'll be dying. Well, you got it out here. You can get it back. What a lovely sound. The most beautiful music I've ever heard. Jared! So ends the beautiful music. Oh, if the rain keeps up, I'm going to trade my horse in for a boat. Ah. Ain't no pleasing him. That's the first good drink our cattle have had in months. Yeah, if they don't drown first. Here. Thank you. Oh, Jared, I uh, picked up a letter for you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll be. It's from little Davy Howard. Let's see what he has to say. Dear Uncle Jared, Mother and Father and I are all fine. I hope you are too. There's going to be a big party here soon. It is their anniversary. Father is going to write you and invite you and your family to come. Oh, I sure Jared. hope you'll be there, your friend David Howard. I'd love to go. <laughs> I think it'd be a good idea. Let's have dinner. And we must start thinking about an appropriate gift. Well, now, Mother, what do you get a couple that's finally got everything? Mm -hmm.